Hello, language hackers. Benny Lewis here from the Language Hacking Podcast, and the and today is another short form episode where it'll just be me talking to you to give you a brief tip and uh, hopefully give you some inspiration as you move forward with your own language learning projects. So I want to very briefly address something very important that I feel uh, answers a big question on a lot of people's minds of what's the simplest thing you need to do if you want to move forward to ultimately be able to speak another language. So there's a million things you can do. There are, are different apps you can download. There are books you can buy. There's software you can use on your computer. There's websites you can go to. It can get very overwhelming. There's a very big list of things. There are different methods as well. Should you have input only? Should you just read? And you'll get different answers from different people. But in my personal experience, the simplest thing by far that you can do right now is to have a spoken focus. If you're beginning the language, the way I express this is very simply speak from day one. This has been the core method of my language learning philosophy. It's something that we apply to everyone who joins the Fluent Three Months Challenge. It's something that many thousands of people have implemented as they followed my blog, that they've based their entire learning philosophy around actual spoken use of the language. Now, this obviously begs a lot of questions. Like uh, a lot of you might be thinking, that's all well and good if you're living in the country, but I don't live in the country right now, or we're in the middle of a pandemic right now. I can't just go out and hang out with people who speak this language. So I actually pivoted from the idea of having to go to the country to learn the language several years ago, and I found it to be a lot more beneficial to have my lessons entirely online. And that's my learning experience, that I have a Zoom call or a Skype call with my teacher, and I focus my learning around that. And then if I do have the opportunity to go to the country or to join in some kind of a social event where I get to use the language, that's my true practice time after I've actually learned it. And there are a lot of issues with the idea that you'll just learn a language if you go to the country, and I really don't recommend this to a lot of people. It seems like it makes sense, but my personal experience was actually quite the opposite. For those of you who don't know, I moved to Spain when I graduated university. I lived there for six months, and even though I was physically in Spain, I failed to learn Spanish in this time, because being in the country isn't enough. I wasn't actually immersed in the language. I had the language around me, but I found ways to kind of avoid that and surround myself with English speakers the whole time. So instead, I recommend that you find a teacher online who you can get lessons from. They're actually a lot more affordable than you would imagine because you can find teachers who are living in those cheaper countries and they make a decent salary based on what it would be in that country, which may be a lot cheaper than what it would be in your country. And then if you truly can't afford it, you might be able to find language exchange um services with people that might be willing to learn your native language maybe it's english and in exchange they'll teach you their native language but ultimately speaking has to be central to your language learning process if it is a priority i know there are people who get into language learning and they they do that because they want to read the language ultimately or maybe they have a different more academic interest in it but a lot of people i tend to talk to see themselves as using the language with people in conversations. And if that happens to be uh, what aligns with your goals, you truly need to speak from day one. Don't get caught in the trap that you have to wait until you're ready, that someday you'll be able to start speaking, because that do it does not work that way. There is no someday. There are seven days in a week. Someday is not one of them. You will always find excuses to keep postponing and never start using the language. So just use it from day one. This obviously means you're going to sound like Tarzan. And that's okay. That's a big part of our learning philosophy that I try to encourage people to embrace making mistakes. 
and the many times I've started over and over again to learn new languages, I have sounded like a caveman. And you, you have to get used to that awkwardness, and you do find a certain sense of joy in this beginning stage. And you find that native speakers, especially if you're able to afford a teacher that may be a lot cheaper than you think they are, um, they are very patient with you and they help you to get through this beginning spoken stage. And what I talked about earlier, like which materials do you use, which books do you buy? I, I know these tend to be the questions that you imagine are the most important thing. Like you have to buy the best course and only then will you learn the language the right way. But I don't think it really matters that much. I mean, with the obvious exception that the language hacking courses I wrote are the best in the universe. I mean, everybody knows that. But besides those books, you, there's, there is no real perfect course. And the best thing you can do is to just get a spoken session with a native speaker. And then all your studying is revolved around making those spoken sessions better. So it's very important to think of it like that, that your spoken sessions are the central aspect of what you're doing in the language, everything else is supporting that. Whereas generally we tend to make studying the central part of our language learning work. And then someday, like a year from now maybe, or whatever it is, you may finally get spoken practice. You gotta turn that on its head. In my experience, and if you have similar goals to me, obviously this isn't universal. People have different goals in language learning. But if your goal is conversational, you have to start speaking right now. You don't learn how to ride a bike by studying aerodynamics. You got to get your ass on the saddle and start pedaling. So really, this analogy really does transfer to languages. I don't see languages as this academic thing. You can't really study them. You just have to experience them. You have to practice them. And the study part does come in to support that, but it cannot be central to it. So that is the simplest way that I express my language learning philosophy to people and what you have to prioritize, what has to be central to your approach. You need to speak from day one. I hope you found that interesting and I'd be very curious to hear your comments. Just uh, look at the links um, with this podcast to check out the show notes and let me know, know what you think. And if you have any other questions, I'd be very happy to address them in a future solo episode like this one. All right. Hope you find found. Hope you found that interesting. So until the next one, happy language learning.